walking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Hey guys, it's Madeline. Thank you so much for being here to watch my video. I will be reviewing, swatching, giving you guys a tutorial on Kylie's Christmas collection. Of course, I don't have every single piece. I'm not like a diehard fan. So, you know, I just got the pieces that really caught my eye. I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked up. I did get her holiday pressed powder eyeshadow palettes, her mini lipstick kits, one of her lipsticks, and the blush and highlighter duo. So I will be swatching all of those. I will show you guys how they apply. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below before you go. Also give this video a thumbs up for me. I really appreciate it. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. I do want to start with swatches. So let's begin with her holiday pressed powder palette. This retails for $48. So it is pretty pricey. I hope that it was worth my money. We will find that out. But you guys, this packaging Oh, I am just such a Christmas holic, I guess. So when she started to advertise for this collection, I was instantly sucked in. I'm usually not like that with her products. Like honestly, nothing from her line has really blown me away quite like this stuff has. I mean, look at this. Not to be dramatic or anything, but this is kind of to die for. Like these little lips. It opens up like that. And then this is what the palette looks like on the inside. And it has this cute little candy cane detail. And then you open it up. Oh, it's so beautiful. I will say one thing though, the names of these shades are just not it. Like they are pretty lame, you guys. <laughs> if this was my palette, I mean not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I definitely would have thought of better Christmassy names. But you know what? The shades themselves are gorgeous. So that's all that matters here. I just want to point that out though. So let's just go ahead and get to swatching these colors. I'm going to start with Cali Christmas, work my way across and it just go down like that. Cali Christmas is just a plain Ooh, that's pigmented. Just a nice plain base shade to start out with. I just did my self tanner last night, so I feel like it looks kind of blotchy, but. And then here is the first super pretty shade, holiday season. That is so pretty. Ooh, I like that one. This is kind of like a cranberry shimmery shade. Very beautiful. So far, so good with the color payoff. I'm very impressed at the moment. Next shade is Jolly AF. Ooh, that's really bright and pretty. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh, I definitely suck at swatches. All right, moving on to Treat Yourself. This one is not swatching quite as well, but it is still gorgeous. The next shade is Santa's Workshop. Ooh, that is pretty. This is Reindeer Dreams. The mattes are not swatching the best, I will say that. So we'll see how they apply to my eyeballs. This is How Nice. Ooh, I like that one. I'm gonna dislocate my shoulder trying to do this. Then we have Santa's Helper. I don't think the matte shades will be that bad, honestly. That one swatched pretty nicely. It's probably just a user error because clearly I'm not doing this the greatest. I'm trying though, you guys, I really am. Then we have this pinky shade called Kris Kringle and I do think that this is a cute name because obviously her mom's name is Kris, so that was a cute one. Ooh, that did not swatch good. This one is super pretty, it's Xmas Crush. Ooh, I do like that one. This next shade is super pretty. It's very neon. It's called Made You Cookies. That one's really pretty. Hint of Naughty. Ooh, I really like that one. This one is Peppermint Princess. Then we have Secret Santa. That is nice and pigmented. The next shade, this name especially does not make sense because it's gold. It's called Mint To Be. Last but not least, we have the darkest shade in the palette. This is called Dearest. It will be interesting to see how the mattes apply onto my eyes because definitely some inconsistency going on there. But here are all of the shades. This is so beautiful. I cannot wait to get this on my eyes. This finger is totally stained now. Next is her Holiday Blush and Highlighter Duo. The packaging is 
Oh my goodness, again, just so cute. And I will say too, I actually like how this looks in person a lot more than I thought it would. Online I thought it did look kind of tacky, not gonna lie. I have already used this, so I do have some preconceived ideas about it. It does have a mirror right here, that's always nice. And this retails for $20. Holy moly, this blush does not swatch good. Oh my gosh, well there you have it. Okay, so this blush is called Santa's Wifey, which I think that is a cute name, but that's about all I can do for a swatch for you guys. And that's trying really hard too. Um, then we'll swatch her highlights. So this is called Sexy Santa. I am going to apply this to my skin. Then I'll look a little less bare too, but just to show you guys how it applies. So going in with Santa's wifey first. You can see The consistency of this blush is just interesting. I do wish that was a tad bit more pigmented. I don't like blushes that are overly pigmented because I do like to be able to build it up, but this one just takes a while. I don't know, guys, it's kind of weird. I also noticed too when I tried this out last week, the highlighter just, it's not pigmented enough. It's very glittery and you have to pack a lot onto the brush and you also have to use a small brush. Okay, so let me show you guys. This is how much product I have on this brush. This is the Real Technique Setting Brush, 402. Oh my God, it is so powdery. I put it on my cheek and it flew over into my hair. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but okay, we'll keep going. This highlighter is just not it for me. It's not worth it, guys. I mean, what? Usually one swipe with any other highlighter, it is beaming. I mean, maybe that's just what we've gotten used to in the beauty community, but I uh, mean, kind of our expectations now. I just do not like the way this looks on my skin at all. Two hours later. I mean, it should not take this long to apply a blush and highlighter. It's just not these knees. So definitely a pass on this. I recommend saving your money and not getting it. I'm just pressing these products into my face more because just based off of how they applied, I do not think that they are going to stay on my face very well. Okay, so moving on to lip products. Oh my goodness. The packaging for this lipstick. Oh, it's so adorable. I just cannot get over it. This little ornament. I know that this packaging had to match this one, but for some reason, I feel like it just looks tacky on the lipstick tube. I don't know. It's not very sparkly. I feel like this looks sparklier. So I picked up the shade Coming to Town, and this retails for $17. So this is a very peachy nude. It is kind of hard to tell on her website the true color of lip products because, I don't know. I honestly thought that this was going to be kind of a lighter nude. It does have really good color payoff, though. Like, that was just one swipe. So this is what it looks like on the lips. You know what? I actually like this today a lot more than I thought I would after this first came in the mail and I swatched it. I did not think that I would like it, but I actually really do. I think it looks really good. I mean, it obviously looks strange, me not having anything on my eyes yet, but we'll get there with the eyeshadow tutorial. That is actually really beautiful. Oh my God. Okay. All right. I would recommend this one. It is really pretty. I did not use, oh, I did not see that I have lipstick right there. I didn't use this with a lip liner so that you guys could see the true color of it. I thought this shade would make my teeth look a little bit yellow too, but really doesn't look that bad. So you know what I should mention too, I did have my foundation stuff on my lips still. So remember to do that, like kind of have your products on your lips. Don't wipe it off before using this because I think that really did make it look better, kind of emphasized it. Then I purchased her holiday mini lip set. This set came with six mini liquid lipsticks and these shades are so beautiful, you guys. I'm so excited to finally try them all on my lips. Now, I think that the packaging of these are so cute. I really love this first shade called Snowman Season. There is a swatch of it on my hand right there. And this is what this shade looks like on my lips. This is such a beautiful, light pinky nude. This is a little bit more pinky than I would expect it to be once it dries down because in the tube it does look pretty much just like a solid nude. 
but it is really pretty. The formula is just a nice soft matte. It's not overly drying, so I really do like this one. Moving on to Team Santa. So this is a really pretty rosy nude shade, also matte. This is what it looks like on my lips. Oh my gosh, I love this shade. I am really impressed. So again, this is the shade Team Santa. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm starting to look like that guy in Monsters, Inc. that had his lips sucked with that machine. The next shade is called Kylie Kloss, and this is a metallic. So there is Kylie Kloss on the lips. This is honestly such a cool formula. So it does kind of dry down in place. I really would recommend using a lip liner with this though because it does seem to be a little bit patchy around my perimeter of my bottom lip. But otherwise, this is really beautiful. I should have swatched this one before I did my last one, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. The next one is called Rosy Cheeks. So this isn't a nude, it's actually kind of a bright shade. It is just like a rosy matte lip color. Rosy cheeks on the lips. I cannot believe that I am liking every single color, you guys. Oh my gosh, like this is actually so beautiful. And it's honestly refreshing to see some color on my lips for once because you guys know how obsessed I am with nudes. My lips look hot pink right now. <laughs> Good thing I applied the nudes first cause this is looking like a scary situation. So the next shade is called Santa's Real. There is the swatch right there. Okay guys, my lips are seriously starting to look like a mess after all this swatching and removing and applying. So just bear with me, but here is Santa's Real. It's actually pretty bright too. Okay, finally, the last shade is called Keep the Receipt. I think that is such a cute name. This is a bright, bright red. Like, oof. You probably won't catch me wearing this, but we'll see once it's on my lips. There is a swatch of Keep the Receipt. So I would say Santa's Real is more of like a blue cool base. All right, well, here is Keep the Receipt. This looks extra weird with nothing being on my eyes, but I mean, otherwise, <laughs> it's really beautiful. It's just so bright. I mean, if you guys were to see me rocking this out in public, then you really know that I'm enjoying some time out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I did forget to mention in the beginning that this kit is $36. I think this is actually worth it. These shades are really beautiful. We'll see about this one. I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna wear it, but I'll save it for a snowy day. All right, you guys, so now that I went through all those products with you, let's go ahead and do this eyeshadow tutorial using her Dear Santa palette. I'm so excited to use this for the first time. So I will be using my Blinged Brushes Starry Nights collection to be applying my shadows. I just had to mention these because if you guys follow my Instagram, you saw my post of these, but if you don't, these are incredible, you guys. The quality, I mean, they are stunning. They are so worth it. I will link these down below. To start off, I'm taking their F17 in the shade Cali Christmas. I'm just gonna set the whole lid with this. Ooh, I like this brush. I haven't used this one yet. That is awesome for setting the lid. So that matte shade applied beautifully. I decided I'm gonna do things a little bit differently today. I'm actually gonna pop Made You Cookies, that bright red neon shade. I'm gonna put that into my crease to start off with. I decided I do wanna do a cut crease today, so I will be blending up pretty high. This seriously looks hot pink though. I thought in the swatch it looked more red, but ooh, <laughs> just call me Rudolph. You know what I just realized? I think I call this shade Treat Yourself, but it's Treat Your Elf. So I am gonna blend Reindeer Dreams above this shade. That just makes the edges look way softer. I am taking my It Cosmetics crease brush for the next shade and I'm going in with Treat Your Elf. That is so pretty. I'm gonna smudge Reindeer Dreams underneath my eyes just to get that started. I'm gonna try blending in Peppermint Princess and hopefully it'll look okay. I just wanna darken up this outer crease. Okay, that's making it a little bit too purpley. So this next move is gonna be kind of weird but I'm just gonna take this flat brush and I'm gonna pat treat yourself right in here. Yeah, I think that makes it look better. I do feel like there's a problem with these shadows not 
being truly red. I mean, my eye, they, they're looking really pink. Uh, I think it'll be okay once I cut my creases, which I'm just gonna jump to doing right now because I'm getting worried. I really like using this Sephora eyebrow pencil to actually like carve out where I want my concealer to stop. You know what? I think this will look okay in the end. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and a flat brush. That looks so cool. Wow, I'm so glad that I did that. I'm just blending a little bit more with whatever is left over of the reindeer dreams on this brush. I am gonna pat more of Treat Your Elf on the outer part here. So now with Jolly AF right here, I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna pat this on. This is way more of a true red. I do kind of wish that she had a dark red in this palette because this is just, I don't know. I think it's coming together though. I'm gonna take some more of Cali Christmas and just pat this in. <laughs> and then with my finger, I'm taking Holiday Season. I'm just gonna pat some of this in the center. The shade is so beautiful. Now I'm taking Secret Santa and this is their E14. Okay guys, this is actually coming together way better than I expected. That makes me really happy. Now I am gonna smudge some more of that tan reindeer dream shade underneath my eyes. And then what's left over on my E15 I'm just gonna kind of blend that right here. So now I'm taking our highlighter again and I'm gonna pop this in my inner corners. Oh my gosh, no pigment. <laughs> there we go. Okay guys, so this took a lot longer than I thought it would, so I'm just gonna go off camera, do my eyeliner, mascara, and lashes, and then I will be back, and this will look so much more complete. I am gonna put on Tati Lashes in the style TL4. I love these. Okay guys, so the eye look is completed. Now let's get something on these lips. I'm gonna take her Snowman Season Matte Nude. I don't wanna do a red because it would definitely clash with what we have going on up here. So I'm just gonna keep it plain and simple with a nude. I also think it'll complement like these colors going on. So I'm first gonna line my lips with her Malibu lip liner. This is such bad quality, like that just broke and flew out. And then, what the heck? Okay, now it's gone. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're good. The lips are lined. Now I'm taking her snowman season. This is such a beautiful nude. There we have it. That is definitely one of my new favorite nudes. Okay guys, so this completes the look. I am actually so happy with how this turned out. I really didn't know how it was gonna go. It took me actually a long time to put it all together. I know it never seems like it because obviously I edit a ton and speed everything up, but like I feel like I need a nap now after doing this look. So I hope that you guys like how this turned out too. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also, I forgot I'm filming this on Black Friday right now and 
I'm all excited to go out because I'm going to like Ulta, Target, TJ Maxx, um, and I want to go to Aerie. So I feel pretty festive, you know? I'm gonna be like, Merry Christmas on my eyes. So I'm really excited to go shopping after this. But I'm not gonna have this uploaded until the following week, so it'll be December. Happy December, guys! <laughs> I really hope that you guys liked this first Christmassy makeup tutorial. I'm not sure when Kylie Cosmetics will be restocking these products, but just keep your eye out for it. Let me know if you do pick up what I recommended. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day and week. I will see you in my next video. Bye!